Hi friends, in this video, we are going to solve the problem on torque equations. Okay, next question. Generally, some problems on torque equations. Some problems on torque equation. Let's see. If voltage increased by 10%, then torque increased by... What is answer? If voltage increased by 10%, then torque increased by... Tell me, generally, torque is directly proportional to V square. If voltage increased by 10%, nothing but, the torque is directly proportional to, if voltage increased by 10%, nothing but, 1.1 into V square. If voltage increased by 20%, 1.2. If voltage increased by 30%, 1.3. If voltage increased by 50%, 1.5. So, torque is directly proportional to 1.1 square into V square. So, torque is directly proportional to 11 by 10 whole square into V square. So, torque is directly proportional to 121% of V square. 121% of V square. 121% nothing but... 100 plus 21. Yes or no? So, the torque increased by, torque increased by 20%. Torque increased by 21%. Torque increased by 21% is correct answer. Simply, if voltage increased by 10%, nothing but 11 square. Voltage increased by 10%, nothing but 11 square. 11 square, 121. For same question, if voltage increased by 20%, voltage increased by 20%, nothing but 1.2 into V square. 1.2 into V square, nothing but 12 by 10 square into V square. Nothing but 144 by 100 into V square. Nothing but 144, nothing but 100 plus 44. So, torque increased by 44%. Like that we can calculate. Any values. Any values. If voltage increased by 10%, this is answer. If voltage increased by 20%, if voltage increased by 20%, then torque increased by, torque increased by 40%, 44%. Right? Calculate it. We already calculated AD current loss is directly proportional to N square. Breast frictional loss is directly proportional to N square. The same answers. For example, see here. See here. If voltage increased by 10%, if voltage increased by 10%, torque increased by 21%. If voltage increased by 20%, the torque increased by 44%. Because 11 square, 121, 12 square, 144, 13 square, 13 square, 169, 14 square, 14 square, 196, 15 square, 15 square, 225, 15 square, 225, 220 nothing but 100 plus 125, 225, 15 square, 225, 225 nothing but 100 plus 120 square, so 121%. If voltage increased by 10%, torque increased by 21%. If voltage increased by 20%, torque increased by 44%. If voltage increased by 30%, torque increased by 69%. If voltage increased by 40%, torque increased by 96%. If voltage increased by 50%, the torque increased by 125%. This is if voltage increases. Next question. Next question. For example, Next question, if voltage reduced by 20, 10%, if voltage reduced by 10%, then torque reduced by, if it is increased 1.1, if it is decreased 0.9, if it is decreased 0.9, 0.9 nothing but 9 by 10, 9 by 10 nothing but 81 by 100. 81 nothing but, 81 nothing but, 100 minus 19, 
100 minus 19. Hence, the torque reduced by 19%. The same question. If increases, 1 plus. If reduces, 1 minus. So, if voltage reduced by 10%, then torque reduced by 19%. Because 9 square 81. Okay? Okay? Getting or not? Now see here. If voltage reduced by 20%, if voltage reduced by 20%, nothing but. What is here? V. 0.8 into V. 0.8 nothing but. 8 by 10 into V square. 8 square nothing but. 64. 64. 64 nothing but. 100 minus 36. So tell me, if voltage increased by 20%, torque reduced by 36%. Torque reduced by 36%. Like that, you have to do all those values. So you have to draw for this. If voltage reduced by 10%, torque reduced by 19%. If voltage reduced by 20%, torque reduced by 36%. What is the answer for remaining questions? You have to do. Okay? Okay? Can you or not? Yes, you can. You can. Tell me. Tell me. What is answers? Tell me what is answers? What is answers? If voltage reduced by 10%, Voltage reduced by 10%. Torque reduced by 19%. Because 10% reduces nothing but 9 square. 9 square 81. If voltage reduced by 20%, the answer is 36%. If voltage reduced by 30%, 30% nothing but 0.3 less. Nothing but 0.7. 7 square. 7 square 49, sir. 49 nothing but 100 minus 51. 100 minus 51. If voltage reduced by 40%, 40% nothing but 0.4 removed. If 0.4 removed from the 100%, what is the value? 0.6. 6 square, 6 square 36. If 6 square is 36, 36 minus 100 minus 64, 64%. If voltage reduced by 50%, if voltage reduced by 50%, then torque reduced by 50% nothing but, 50% nothing but 0.5. 1 minus 0.5 is equals to 0.5 only. Nothing but 5 square. What is 5 square? 25. What is 25? 100 minus 75. So, if voltage reduced by 50%, the torque reduced by 75%. Torque reduced by 75%. Because of square law. Because of square law. Because of square law. These are very important. These are very important. For all, torque directly proportional to V square. Eddy current losses directly proportional to F square. Eddy current loss is directly proportional to N square. Brush frictional losses. Brush frictional losses directly proportional to N square. For all these values, the answers are same. For all these values, first one, second one, third one, and fourth one. For all these values, the answers are same. If uh, here, if speed reduced by 30%, if speed reduced by 30%, your current loss is reduced by 64%. Like this, for all square loss, the answer is same. Okay, very important, just the square law. 9 square, 11 square. 8 square, 12 square. 7 square, 13 square. 6 square, 14 square. 5 square, 15 square. 5 square, 15 square. Here, 6 square, 6 square 36, 36 nothing but 100 minus 64. Here, 14 square, 14 square 196, 196 minus 196 nothing but 100 plus 96. Like that, these are the problems they are asking regularly. Okay, this is the question on torque equation. They are asking question like that. My question, a three-phase... 50 hertz, 
सिक्स पोल इंडक्शन मोटर इंडक्शन मोटर थ्री फेस फिफ्टी एट सिक्स पोल इंडक्शन मोटर ऑपरेटिंग एट नाइन हंड्रेड आरपीएम ऑपरेटिंग एट नाइन हंड्रेड आरपीएम विथ टार्क ऑफ हंड्रेड न्यूटन मीटर्स फुल लोड टार्क ऑफ हंड्रेड न्यूटन मीटर्स सिंपली they are simply giving that torque of 100 newton meters they don't mention full load torque they don't mention full load speed so this is the statement a three phase 50 h 6 pole induction machine operating at 900 rpm with a torque of 100 newton meters my rotor resistance is my rotor resistance is 10 ohms my rotor reactance is 40 ohms Forty ohms. Then find out. Then find out maximum torque. This is my question. Then find out maximum torque. Which formula we have to use? Which formula? Tell me the formula. Yes. What is the formula? Full load torque to the maximum torque is equals to. Full load torque to the maximum torque is equals to two into slipped full load into slipped maximum torque by slipped full load square plus slipped maximum torque square. Tell me what is the value? Two into slipped full load. What is slipped full load? Here the speed is nine hundred rpm. Here the synchronous speed is thousand rpm. Synchronous speed is thousand rpm. Rotor speed is nine hundred rpm. Nothing but hundred RPM is missing. Hundred RPM is the slip. Tell me, hundred is how much percent of thousand? Hundred is ten percent of thousand, sir. Ten percent of thousand, sir. Okay. What is SMT? Yeah, we know that SMT is equals to R two by X two, sir. Yes, R two by X two. Nothing but one by four divided by One by four divided by what is S square? Hundred, hundred zero zero gets cancelled. Nothing but one by hundred S full load square. One by hundred plus S M T square. One by sixteen. One by sixteen. Now full load torque they given already, and we have to find out the maximum torque. And here two ones two twos are. So what is answer? One by twenty divided by What is LCM for hundred and sixteen? What is LCM for hundred and sixteen? Hundred and sixteen four four twenty five za four four za. Yes or no? Four twenty five za four four za. Still no any value. So four four za sixteen sixteen twenty five za sixteen twenty five za four hundred sixteen twenty five za four hundred. Yes or no? Sixteen twenty five za. Sixteen twenty five za sixteen twenty five za four hundred sixteen twenty five za four hundred. Right. Tell me what is answer here. The LCM is four hundred, four hundred, and here four plus here sixteen. That's why twenty five. Right. So tell me what is answer. Hundred divided by maximum torque is equals to what is value here four hundred. Into one by twenty into twenty nine. Yes or no? Sixteen twenty five four hundred. So what is the value? Twenty ones twenty twenty za. Twenty twenty za. Twenty ones twenty twenty za. So what is the value? Twenty by twenty nine. Right. So what is maximum torque? The maximum torque is equals to. Hundred into twenty nine by twenty. Maximum torque is equals to hundred into twenty nine by twenty. Twenty ones, twenty five za. Tell me, twenty nine into five. Fast, fast. Thirty into five. Thirty into five. One fifty. But here less five. So what is answer? One forty five. Is that no? Are twenty into five hundred? Nine into five forty five. What is answer? One forty five newton meters. One forty five newton meters. Very simple question. Just we know the formula. That's it. 
just we know the formula that's it just by formula we can substitute and we can get the answer we can substitute and we can get the answer so this is the question for this the question on full out up to the maximum top a three phase 50 hertz six pole induction machine starting torque is my starting torque is 200 newton meters my starting torque is 200 newton meters my rotor resistance 10 ohms rotor reactance 40 ohms then find out the maximum torque then find out the maximum torque tell me the answer first tell me the answer so what is the answer the starting torque to the maximum torque is equals to 2 into smt by tell me 1 plus smt square as we know that 2 into what is smt tell me smt is equals to 10 by 40 nothing but 1 by 4 divided by 1 plus 1 by 16 what is starting torque they given? 200. What is maximum torque? We have to find out. So two ones, two twos are. So what is answer? 1 by 2 divided by 17 by 16. Yes or no? 17 by 16. Now I want maximum torque. 200 by maximum torque is equals to 1 into 16 by 2 into 17. Right, sir. Two ones. 2 yards are. Yes. 4 twos are. 450s are. 2 ones are. 225s are. 225s are. So, what is answer? The maximum torque is equals to 25 into 17. Can you tell me what is answer? 25 into 17. 25 into 17 is equals to 425 Newton meters. We already saw 25 into 16, 400. 25 into 17, 425. So, what is the answer? 425 Newton meters. Because this is the maximum torque, right? Maximum torque should be maximum. So, this is the question they are asking, the way of questioning. This is the questioning. Based on that, another question also there. They are asking question, another question, another question. A three-phase induction machine, rotor resistance, 1 ohm, rotor reactance, 2 ohms. Rotor resistance, 1 ohm, rotor reactance, 2 ohms. Then find out maximum torque to the starting torque ratio. Then find out maximum torque to the starting torque ratio. Generally, the people doing the mistake is that generally they are writing starting torque to the maximum torque ratio 2 into SMT divided by 1 plus SMT square. Yes, sir. 2 into SMT nothing but R by X, nothing but 1 by 2 divided by 1 plus 1 by 4 because 1 by 2 square. What is SMT, sir? SMT is equal to R by X. Yes, R by X, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 square, 1 by 4. So what is answer? 2, 2 gets cancelled. So what is answer? 1 divided by 5 by 4. Nothing but what is answer? 4 by 5. 4 by 5 is the T starting to the T maximum. Generally, in your question paper, option A also 4 by 5. In your question paper, option A also 4 by 5. Generally, people feeling very happy because I got the answer 4 by 5 and simply they are putting the answer. But, but, listen carefully, what they asked? Maximum torque to the starting torque. What you done? Starting torque to the maximum torque. Is it correct answer? The question paper should be like that. Actually, they are trying to, to ask the question like that. Because the question paper who given, they know already. That is, generally the people know the value of starting torque to the maximum torque. That's why they will ask you in reverse, maximum torque to the starting torque. But the people doing the same mistake again, up to here, after getting this answer, they are putting simply, they forgot what is my question. 
So tell me, what is my question actually? Actually, your answer, starting torque to the maximum torque, 4 by 5. But my question, maximum torque to the starting torque, what is answer? 5 by 4, 5 by 4, or 1.25 is the answer. 5 by 4, or 1.25 is the answer. Be careful like these questions. Right? This is another way of questioning. Another way of questioning. Let's see here. Another way of questioning. Let's see here. Let's see here. Generally, they are asking like this, same. A three-phase induction machine, three-phase induction machine, rotor resistance 10 ohms, rotor resistance 10 ohms, rotor reactance 50 ohms, rotor reactance 50 ohms, very important question. Rotor resistance given, rotor reactance given. And they are asking question. How much extra resistance? How much extra resistance? How much extra resistance? We have to add. We have to add. We have to add. To get. To get. Maximum torque. To get maximum torque at starting. To get maximum torque at starting. This is my question. A three phase 50H, three phase 50H induction machine, rotor resistance 10 ohms, reactance 50 ohms. Then how much resistance, extra resistance, RE, extra resistance? We have to add to get maximum torque. To get maximum torque at starting period. How much resistance we have to add to get maximum torque at the starting period? Sir, tell me what is slip at starting? The slip at starting is equal to 1. Tell me what is slip at maximum torque? The slip at maximum torque is equal to R by X. Slip at starting is 1. Slip at maximum torque is R by X. R by X. What they ask the question, how much resistance we have to add to get maximum torque at starting? If maximum torque occurs at starting, maximum torque occurs at starting, nothing but both are same. Maximum torque starting. Nothing but one should be equals to R2 plus RE divided by X2. What is that question? The starting slip is equal to at this condition slip. What is this condition? R total R. R2 plus extra resistance by R. X2 should be equals to 1. Tell me what is answer. Tell me 1 is equals to 1 is equals to R2 they given plus RE divided by 40. Tell me, what is RE to get equals to 1? What is RE we have to substitute to get equals to 1? Tell me, sir. What is RE to get 1? This RE should be equals to 30 ohms. If RE is the 30 ohms, 10 plus 30, 40. 40, 40 gets cancelled, 1. See how they are asking, how the tricky question. Okay, so what is answer? Like that, how much extra resistance we have to add to get maximum target starting? To get maximum target starting, this is the answer. So extra resistance added, we required is 30 ohms, sir. Extra resistance required is 30 ohms. If the same question asking in another way, same question asking in another way, let's see what is the another way. Let's see what is the another way. What is the another way? What is the another way? Same question. Same question. A three phase 50 H induction machine, rotor resistance 10 ohms, and rotor reactance 40 ohms. How much extra resistance we have to add? How much extra resistance we have to add? To get maximum torque at to get maximum torque at fifty percent of slip. To get maximum torque at fifty percent of slip. See how they are asked the question. Three phase fifty H induction motor, rotor resistance and reactance. How much extra resistance we have to add? How much extra resistance we have to add? 
to get maximum target 50% of slick. 50% nothing but 50% nothing but 1 by 2. The maximum slip, what is the slip at maximum torque? R by X. R by X. This is the slip at maximum torque. And slip actually they given 1 by 2. And as slip at maximum torque 1 by 4. Or 40, 10 by 40, or 10 by 40, and they asked the question that how much extra resistance we have to add to get slip at to get maximum torque at slip of 1 by 2. Nothing but 1 by 2 is equal to R by X. Nothing but R2 plus R E by R2 plus R E by X2 should be equal to 1 by 2. What is value? 1 by 2 is equal to R to 10 plus R E by 40. Tell me how much extra resistance we have to add to get maximum target 50% of slip. I think but if we place R E, some R E here, its value should be 1 by 2. Tell me what is the required resistance? The required resistance is 10 ohms. If place here 10 ohms, 10 plus 10, 20, 20 by 40, 1 by 2, 20 by 40, 1 by 2, sir. So, this is the question they asked. Okay. These are the different types of questions, different types of questions on torque equations. Different types of questions on torque equations, very important. I've given you mostly all possibility of questions, all models of questions. All models of question. These are the gate two mass questions which I done here. These are the gate two mass questions. Silly questions, very easy questions. But they are asking for gate two marks. See how they are. Very easy questions. Right? 1C, model 1, actually model 1, model 2 and model 3. And before that another model. These are the questions on torque equations.